Umsum was getting ready for school when he noticed a small red bump on his nose. He looked closer in the mirror. It was a pimple. Annoyed, he wondered, why do we get pimples? Determined to find out, Umsum shrank and entered his own body. He landed just beneath the surface of the skin, where he saw hundreds of tiny hair roots. Each one was sitting inside a small pit called a hair follicle. Around these follicles were glands called sebaceous glands, and they were busy releasing an oily substance called sebum. As Umsum explored, he noticed that dead skin cells and too much sebum were mixing together and blocking the narrow opening of one of the hair follicles. This resulted in the creation of a lump under the skin. Soon, tiny bacteria got trapped inside the blocked follicle. They began to multiply quickly, feeding on the excess oil. The body sensed the invasion and immediately sent an army of white blood cells to fight them. The white blood cells released chemicals to destroy them. But the fight created heat and swelling, turning the area red and sore. The mixture of dead cells, bacteria, and oil began to form a yellowish pus beneath the skin's surface. The pressure built up until it created a visible bump, the full-grown pimple. Leaping back outside, Umsum <laughs> smiled proudly. Umsum was at the park when his friend slipped on a banana peel. The scene looked so silly that Umsum burst out laughing. He laughed harder and harder until suddenly he noticed tears rolling down his cheeks. Surprised, he wondered, why do we cry when we laugh? Determined to find out, Omsum shrank and entered his own head. He reached the place huh? where laughter was controlled. Nerves were firing like bright sparks, sending waves of joy across the brain. As Omsum laughed harder, his chest muscles tightened, pressure rose in his head, and the swollen blood vessels pressed against the tear glands. The tear huh? glands could not hold back anymore. They spilled out tears, even though Omsum wasn't sad at all. Omsum tried to block the tear glands with his hands, hoping to stop the flow. But with a sudden burst, tears spilled out again. Huh? Amsum staggered back. The pressure was simply too powerful. Then Amsum finally realized the truth. Huh? The pressure was actually being built by his own brain. The Ooh. brain was getting overloaded from too much laughter. It sent out mixed signals, the same ones used for crying. Those signals pressed on the tear glands and tears spilled out even though he was happy. Amsum floated back out. Smiling proudly, Omsum now understood the mystery. Omsum was watching his favorite movie when he felt the urge to pee. But he didn't want to miss the exciting part, so he decided to hold it in. As the pressure grew, he began to wonder, is it bad to hold our urine? His curiosity sparked, and with a blink, Omsum shrank down and entered his own body. He landed inside a balloon-like organ called the bladder. Around him was golden liquid, slowly filling the space. Huh? At first, the bladder walls stretched easily, making room without any trouble. As more urine flowed in from the kidneys, Amsum noticed the bladder walls stretching thinner and wider. The stretch sent tiny signals racing upward toward the brain. Huh? The brain responded by sending messages back to the bladder, warning that it was time to release the waste. Still, Amsum saw that valves called sphincters near the bottom stayed tightly closed. But soon, the bladder stretched too much. The stretching sent stronger and stronger signals to the brain. Amsum noticed something else. In the stored urine, bacteria had begun to appear. If the liquid stayed trapped for too long, the bacteria could multiply, causing painful infections. The body was clearly not meant to keep waste locked away for hours and hours. Slipping out of his body, Amsum smiled as he now knew the answer. Amsum was out for a walk on a cold winter morning. 
As the chilly wind brushed past his face, he felt his body tremble. His teeth chattered, and tiny shivers ran down his arms. Surprised, he wondered, why do we shiver? Determined to find out, Aumsum shrank and entered his own body. Aumsum landed near the muscles. They looked restless, twitching in short bursts. The brain had sensed the huh? drop in body temperature and commanded the muscles to contract quickly and repeatedly. Aumsum held on tightly as the muscles began to shake all around him. The rapid contractions made the whole body vibrate. With every tremble, Aumsum could feel warmth spreading huh? through the tissues. The shaking wasn't random, it was the body's way of generating heat. He followed the nerve signals back to the brain and saw what was happening there. The hypothalamus, the part of the brain that controlled body temperature, was sending signals to the body to start shivering. The quick muscle movements used energy, and that energy turned into heat, helping the body warm itself. Omsum looked around in wonder. The more the muscles shivered, the more warmth filled the air. Slowly, the temperature began to rise again. Leaping back outside, Aum Sum smiled proudly. <laughs>